Hey guys, Ronnie here from Greenlight Bites with a really quick video today. Um, it's kind of in response, it's something I've been wanting to do for a while and in response to a comment I got on Ronnie's way today. Um, banana soft serve. I did a video when I was pregnant of um, taking a frozen banana, which I'll show you in a minute, and um, kind of creaming it in your food processor to make a soft serve ice cream style dessert. Well, let me tell you, I'm obsessed. <laughs> so I like pray for my bananas to get brown just so I can freeze them in single serve baggies, baggies. and then at, in the evenings when I want a snack, especially in the summer, I run um, one banana through and I make myself kind of on-demand ice cream, which for me is a great, I don't know, it's a great way to kind of cure a craving and indulge in something that's in a way healthy and kind of a nice, I don't know, pre bedtime snack, I guess. <laughs> it's, good, it's my banana a day and I just eat it in ice cream form, I guess you could say. All right, so um, let me just show you how I do it, it kind of my single serve quick way. Um, and that's kind of what I want to share. I do use my bullet for this and you have to excuse me, like I'm, I'm, I don't have makeup on, I'm all, I'm just a disaster. Um, <laughs> uh, but I use my bullet for this. So I want to show you how I use my bullet. I'm, I'm bullet, magic bullet people don't pay me or anything. I'm just a fan. Uh, I use their product all the time to make baby food and just whatever. Mostly for this and smoothies is what I usually use it for. Now I have a banana here that I froze and I usually cut it. Sometimes I'm lazy and I don't, <laughs> but you could cut them in little chunks before you freeze them and then just kind of freeze these little chunks or they're so easy to cut after you can just cut it frozen. Sometimes I use my frozen um, bananas like the ones that get really ripe for banana bread, or I use it for this, or I use it for smoothies. It's just, it's great. So I buy huge bunches of bananas, like 20 bananas a week. And then sometimes we don't, we eat them all before they get brown, which is kind of sad. But, uh, and then I usually get one or two brown ones, and then I put them in the freezer, and I have probably about five or six ripe bananas in there right now. It's great. So frozen banana in the small cup of your bullet, not the big cup, because you don't want all that extra space. You really kind of want to pack this cup pretty tightly. Now, all you need is the bananas and really water or milk to make the banana soft serve. But the way that I do it, I add frozen blueberries. Another thing I'm quite obsessed with. I don't measure anything, mind you. I just kind of, um, I don't know, I do it by sight. And just add a handful of frozen blueberries. I'll show you when I'm all done how many I get in there. There we go. There we go. So these are frozen wild blueberries. So they're the really, really small ones. I've used the big ones without a problem as well. I just happen to have the small ones in the freezer, so I'm using those. Um, they're also awesome in cereal because they kind of defrost really fast and they turn milk purple, which is really fun when you have kids. <laughs> okay, so I do that. Then I add my obsession, special dark cocoa powder. I've also used Giardelli cocoa, whatever the really good cocoa. I've used regular cocoa powder. I'm just a really big fan of cocoa. And I just add probably a little over, maybe two tablespoons. I, I kind of, I'm a little obsessive, but a tablespoon would be fine. So I have banana, frozen, frozen banana, frozen blueberries, some cocoa powder, and I usually either add almond milk, which I happen to be all out, or just water. And I'm gonna put in some water from my fridge over here. You have to bear with me for a second. I have a filter on the fridge. And I put enough water that you need, you, get to, you gotta get things moving or the blades will just kind of spin and not. So you can see, I do just slightly over half with water. Like, so what you see, it's covering about half of what's in there. And you can see the water already turned purple from the blueberries, which is really cool. Okay, then I put the top on the bullet. Now, this is gonna be loud, <laughs> bear with me, but I really wanna show you how I do it. You can't just put the bullet on and let it go. You have to work it because it's a lot of frozen stuff in this small little bullet. By the way, my bullet, all right, sorry, I had to test it. It's broken. I lost one of the little things over here, so I have to, this, this, this puppy's been with me for a while. <laughs> all right, so anyway, I put it in there, and I, try to, I get, it, get it going, and you'll see, it'll start to seize, to seize, and you shake it. You shake really good. Get it going again and shake. You kind of want to do a plop towards the bottom. Plop, plop. I really work it. <laughs> and you can tell 
don't want to kind of catch it. There you go. Almost done. I think I lost it. Wait, almost done. Kind of go to the side. Go to the side. That's pretty good. That's pretty much it. <laughs> I know it's loud and it's annoying, but I really wanted to show you. It only takes about a minute. Um, I might even still have a couple more chunks there. I would do it longer if I wasn't bringing you guys along for the ride. But as you can see, um, the cocoa and the blueberries make this like uber decadent um, frozen dessert. Where's my spoon? Do I have a spoon? I had a spoon. Oh, here we go. Let me see. And you get, look, can you see it? It's going to slide off my spoon. Mm. All right, here's what happens. The banana is super sweet, and it sweetens up the, especially the dark chocolate cocoa, it sweetens it up perfectly. And then the blueberries kind of add a whole nother, like, dimension in the flavor. Let me see. Can you see it? Oh, it's so decadent. And all I'm eating is frozen fruit and cocoa powder. No added sugar, no added fat, nothing. It's so, so good. Okay, sorry. <laughs> all right, other ideas. You can go tropical with this. You could do frozen or, or frozen banana and frozen mango, um, frozen pineapple. You can also start to experiment with mixes where you do like frozen banana with fresh fruit. It would also work really, really great. Um, you can't really freeze this. Like it's kind of a make and eat. <laughs> you don't like make a head and make a gallon of it and have it and scoop it out. It's not. It, it, I kind of. It takes me two minutes in the evening. I make it after the kids go to bed. It's kind of my little kind of fun indulgence. Um, I like that I make it fresh, uh, every day. And then you can kind of experiment with one fun, with fun flavors. When I was pregnant, I was putting almonds in it. Um, I haven't done chocolate chips. I mean, you can have peanut butter with the banana would be real. I mean, the, the possibilities are endless. <laughs> but yes, it is possible to make banana soft serve in your bullet, single serve, on an admin basis. And honestly, since I've done this, I have not bought ice cream. Um, for the house because usually honestly I was always buying it for me <laughs> the kids get like ice pops or push pops or whatever and then this has replaced all of my ice cream so anyway I hope that helps those of you um, if you give it a try uh, let me know how it works out for you and um, in the comments leave kind of some of your favorite banana soft serve concoctions I would love to hear some new ideas and we can kind of get maybe a nice little brainstorm going and um, kind of have fun this summer making um, a guilt-free frozen treat. <laughs> All right, God, oh my gosh, I'm suddenly on again. Bye guys, uh, thanks for watching and I will see you soon in a new video. All right, bye guys.